All right, let me show you how this thing works. So this is my um, bandsaw sled for cutting logs um, into uh, slicing logs up. Um, basically, how this thing works is I have the, the carriage assembly, the bottom here, just a sheet of plywood, um, and I do have the runner. Let's see if I can get a good picture of that underneath there. So that runner just goes into the slot of the bandsaw, comes out, and bad video there. So it just fits fits right into the into the slot of the bandsaw there. Then I used a uh, a bar clamp that I bought from Harbor Freight, and I mount that on this the carriage assembly here. And it's adjustable, so you can walk this thing way out. You got a big log, um, as long as it's not too tall, obviously for um, the clearance issues. Mount it in there. It's adjustable, right? So it's just a bar clamp adjustable. Um, if you have a really big log, you can um, pull it apart. And pull these um, mounting bolts out. I'll show you the other side in a second, and then extend them, extend them out a little bit, or leave them there, depending on how you want to work it. I drilled a whole mess, of, uh, a whole bunch of holes in that back plate of the carriage assembly, so it's adjustable. Those all those holes are for this. If I wanted to, I wanted the option of being able to move this and mount this wherever I wanted, just in case it caused an issue. Um, so basically, it's just a, a piece of plywood on the rail. On the bottom rail there with two um, t-tracks in there and um, I'll show you how that works here Let me slide the whole carriage assembly close to that so the t-tracks um, just fit in there I use these um, star nuts and uh, I don't know what toggle bolts or whatever I used in here you know how that works it's pretty easy and then I mount my carriage if I wanted to move those two um, mounting things on the uh, on the bar clamp I would just loosen these take them off and put them in a different hole um, so that slides back and forth just like that all right let me back out a little bit so I can I mean if your logs a little kitty wampus or whatever you can do some a little bit of adjustability there otherwise it just goes straight in straight out and uh, tighten it down cut your log if I wanted to do um, logs you know Consistently, this may be the same thickness. I put this board here, this second board, right? And this is just a, a point of reference. So once I make my first cut, let's say, right there, <clears throat> I'll tighten my, my board down there, and then I'll move the whole carriage assembly in whatever distance I want, and then I can either, you know, measure it here, or sometimes I'll put a, uh, a piece of wood in there. Let's see what I got here within my reach sorry about that so just you know I'd use that as a gauge you know mount my piece of wood in there and make sure it's consistent on on both sides tighten this thing down tighten the carriage carriage assembly down make my second cut take that piece of wood out of there and then walk this um, gauge this piece of gauge block mount that again tighten it down move my carriage assembly put my wood in there so it's just I can do that with consistency. So that's all that is. But basically it's just a you know, you chunk of plywood there. And then your T-tracks um, for the star knobs. And then however you want to build this thing here and mount your bar clamp to it. So I hope that helps. Appreciate your question. Talk to you later.